Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at three or four brawlers, which I think are pretty much broken in this meta. And a lot of pros are starting to abuse them a lot, whilst the casuals and other players just haven't really figured out that they're, they're strong. I'm getting to play on every single ranked game. So these brawlers are really going to help you win a lot of ranked games and get towards masters if you haven't already. So there's a few days left of this season. Currently, we're top 40 in the world. We're going to play in a bunch and getting those wins really easily with these broken brawlers. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, jumping into the first brawler who I believe is absolutely broken and the pros know it for sure. They're banning it all the time. They're playing it all the time. It is Meg. So everybody's talking about Lily, Frank, Lily, Frank. But Meg is literally, uh, I would honestly say in this meta, honestly, probably the best brawler in the game. Oh, like the more I play her, the more I watch her in pro play, she's just dominating it. It's the fact that she counters as well like Lily which is just crazy. The DPS is just through the roof. And of course, you can have the knockback star power if you're facing off against aggro brawlers all the time. I just think she's crazy strong in the meta right now. Not really showing it off to full potential because Angelo is just Angelo on knockout. But I'd say she's actually better on other game modes like Brawl Ball, Gem Grab. I've been seeing a lot of her. Oh, come on. One shot, really? You got to do that to me? Got to do me like that? Right, let's try and save our Rico player. I think we're going to get one shot by this super here. So, the thing is, we should be pinching this Angelo. He's got no jump gadget, so we get a good pinch on him. He's dead. Come on. Nice, Rico. Beautiful. Love to see it. Right, now heal up. Don't get hit here. Here we go. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run at him because I just deal insane damage. And the beautiful is the thing about Meg as well is that you cycle through super so quick now. So now your super actually does something. You can cycle through a couple of swipes within one interaction, which is just crazy to me. So again, I hope in right, this Miko's the worst Miko player I've ever seen, and, and I've seen myself on Miko. Like have you guys seen me on Miko? Yeah, this guy's worse. Literally worse. So this melody wants to 1v1. But she should get clapped here. Oh. This me, this Miko makes me makes me want to unalive. All right, so it's down to the last round here. I'm on a lost streak, by the way, because for whatever reason, my teammates are the worst I've ever had in a long time in these recent rank games. Like I had a Gale on Bridge Too Far. Like, hello, are we playing the same game? I've hit this Miko that's literally facing an Angelo without jump, and he's not clapping him. What is even going on? Another super. He's just scared to go in. He's just being useless the whole time. Let's see, I honestly believe Meg could do with an emergent center as well. Beautiful from Rico. There we go. Didn't even need to use my swipe. Oh, this Rico's carrying. That's what you love to see. Maybe Rico's the one we should be covering. But trust me, it's probably the worst case to show it off in. But if you've played Meg yourself, you can play Meg pretty much everywhere. This is the only chance I got to play Meg because I don't, my teammates were like picking it or again like it just wasn't the best scenario but i've been even been playing heist meg as well i think hot zone meg is just insane she's just done broken trust me like i still got the most damage in the lobby and even in my clips i didn't really do the best but yeah that's going to be the first game and the first brawler let's hop into the next one all right guys jumping into the next brawler which pros are abusing in the game right now it is kit so i know i'm getting a chance to play kit and knockout where kit's always been really strong on but for some reason in this meta i'm just seeing more kit than ever which is just okay i put my gadget too soon there last round i was able to do it a lot better and i'm getting pinched out like crazy just want to help me out please oh wait it can't help me out because we have a sandy on our team but yeah as i was saying i'm just seeing kit a lot more in the meta even outside of knockout and bounty which is weird like i'm seeing kit in holder up mine i'm seeing kit pinball dreams and it's mainly when you have a good teammates unfortunately in ranks you don't have the best teammates but if you're playing with friends or in a duo you can make it work so of course you just need a couple of brawlers that have some decent range that can help finish off the kills with you so it's pretty terrible that i've got a sandy on my team for this but i think i might be able to kill the piper here if i can stay alive with my invis oh, no chance there this one works with another one so yeah fortunately i've got a sandy on my team so i'm gonna have to really really focus up and they've probably got the best counter comp with an 8-bit it's pretty much impossible to kill this 8-bit especially when they just hide together the whole time so i'm gonna have to try and create some pressure here again i have no idea how i'm gonna get close to an 8-bit with turret but at least we'll get in behind Right, it's Piper's on her own, so let's try and go for the kill. I think I might be good here. Oh, she jumped all the way back. No way. No way she did that. Right. All of my, all the enemies are pretty weak here. 
But none of them are gonna die. Come on, just one shot, Piper's one shot. Nice. Go, Gene, pop off, bro, pop off. We're about to get a jump, so we should just be able to confirm a kill easily onto any of these guys. Let's just go onto Angelo. Beautiful, that's gonna be a kill. There we go. So I just need to create some pressure. That's what I need to do. I've got a super in a second. We have a Gene hypercharge as well, which should be fully cooked up here. Also, pairs really well with Gene. If I can get a jump here and not die instantly, and get this hypercharge pool. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go on the Piper instead. Come on, teammates. Go, 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 go. Piper is dead. There we go. I'll take the trade. Two for one. We should be able to win this. So, again, this is probably the worst possible composition to use kit into because 8-bit is the biggest counter. If you want to counter kit, you've got to group up and you've got to make sure that no one is isolated because that's what good kits do. If someone's isolated, just jump straight onto them, even if they jump away or knock you back. A lot of times you're able to cycle through to super or a teammate's able to follow up and get a kill. So again, I'm seeing kitten like Hot Zone Dueling Beatles because once you get close to wall, no one's beating Kit in a 1v1. You've got insane damage, you've got a super that stuns, and then once the stun is over, you just deal insane damage again because of Kit's unload speed. So I'm seeing it so much in the meta. You guys have got to try it out even more so now. So Kit was A tier, now probably S tier. You'd love to see it. So I probably got the worst stats. Yeah, my stats were pretty horrendous, but all in all, pretty decent so yeah that's gonna be one win with uh, kit finally let's jump into the next one all right guys so jumping into the next brawler who i believe is actually insane and easily an st brawler in this meta we have gale so i've already talked about gale quite a bit on the channel already but again it's another one i've just been seeing pros abuse more and more as the meta goes on which is just crazy to me so again i kind of underrated this hypercharge but i think just combination with the stun stop powers the main reason why it's so good and of course, Gale with his super, when his super is good, is very toxic. He counters a lot of brawlers. And especially, think on this map, his hypercharge. There's just so many walls. There's so many opportunities to get a good stun. And of course, in a 1v1, he will pretty much win it against every single brawler with his stun. Especially if you can cycle through to your next one. So, well, I was trying to be sneaky there, but I think we should still have the reaction time. And these guys. Let's try and get a good... Ah, okay. That was bad. I tried to get a double stun there. Completely failed it. But we're still in a good position. Good thing about Gale as well. People don't talk about it. He's got really good wall peeking capabilities. And of course, right now, he's got a glitch where his super deals like 2k or maybe even 3k damage. So that might be making him a little bit more... Well, a little bit stronger than anticipated. But at the same time, his hyper charge is just so good. You cycle through to it way quicker than at first four. I'm going to pop hypercharge now. We'll just push the collect back. Should be able to get the kill as well. I'm going super aggro just to confirm the kill. That wasn't even the best hypercharge moment, but just pushing people so far across the map, it's just pretty strong. Just get them away from danger. Get them pushed into a wall, especially in the dying seconds. It could just literally just be your winning moment, pushing the entire enemy team back. It's not that you're going to get one brawler in it, right? It's basically impossible not to hit more than two or three brawlers. Again, look at their damage stats. We're just carrying with all of these secretly broken brawlers. It's just too easy. So let's jump into the final one. All right, guys, so jumping into the final brawler who I believe is actually insane. I honestly could rate him towards an A10. Might be over it in him a tiny bit. But trust me, I've been seeing a lot more Chester in pro play. And I don't think I've lost a single time with Chester. So, again, this is a horrible, horrible time to play Chester. Heist into Angelo, Colt, Rico. You'd think, how on earth can I win this? I just won the last round. It's 1-1 at the moment. But trust me, the pressure you can get just with a fast movement speed, decent HP, and of course, a recent rework is just pretty good. I'm just causing a lot of pressure for my team, and I use the best gadget in the game, Candy Beans, I think it's called. Just spamming out shots. Look at this! So crazy. And of course, this... Oh, the greatest super of all time on the high safe beautiful absolutely beautiful so yeah i love using chester right now i'm not ashamed to use it i feel like you guys should start abusing it as well the best game modes for him of course can be brutal hot zone and gem grab where you see the most tanks and he's just good in a draft because you can't really go tanks into chester right now and if you do you're kind of an idiot because you just get shredded all the time so of course he's just good for that reason he's actually got some decent wall peaking capabilities you see here i managed to hit Rico a few times and then we get this super which counts a Rico which is beautiful and that's one thing I actually love about Chester I know it is sometimes you don't always get that super but that can also just be such a good thing for Chester just having a wall break in your kit is so good because it counters so many brawlers imagine if you face off against some tanks or if you face off against some throws that wall break super will literally save you every single time so I'm just going to use this super against Rico he knows he's dead and we still got three gadgets left and we're just 
destroying these guys in 1v1s every single time. So here comes the Angelo. Here comes the double reload speed gadget. And we're just going to rip through these guys. We're going to get on the safe as well. We should be able to deal so much damage. I was going to try and stun the Angelo. That was a pathetic attempt, by the way. But I think we should be pretty close to finishing off this game. I've still got two gadgets left as well. That actually helps bail me out so much in so many situations. I'm just spamming these gadgets. I'm literally using the extra gadget gear because I love this gadget. I, I just I just love it. So again, I'm going to pop it. I do get a bit of healing, so this is going to help me out. I'm just going to run into the Angelo. Should be able to take him down. I spam my super out in time as well. I smile spike doesn't get the kill. But yeah, this should be all but over. One gadget left again. Hopefully, I get a bit of speed. Hopefully, I get a bit of extra ammo. We actually get the damage, which is pretty good. Let's kill the Angelo. We've got the best super in the game, but it doesn't matter. These guys are pretty much giving up. There's nothing that they can do. And Chester's just been beautiful. The constant pressure. Again, this isn't the best scenario to use him in, but you could still use Chester in safe zone in case you're scared of facing off against Buzz or other brawlers like that. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Let me know if there's any brawlers you think are secretly broken within ranks. But trust me, I haven't lost with Chester yet. And just look at that. I mean, I brought get star player because he shot the safe more, but 21 and 11 into three brawlers that completely outrange me. I think Chester is back, guys. So that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.